Glamorgan prevent Gloucestershire from taking control. In what little play had been possible on day two at Sevilla Gardens, Glamorgan frustrated their visitors. Gloucestershire had toiled throughout the day and the resolute partnerships they faced meant the top spot chasing side had a lot to do with just six sessions left to play. There would be a breakthrough for the visitors early in the day though. Billy Root caught a slip off the bowling of the impressive David Payne. He'd pick up Wags wicket in the next over, a simple catch lobbed up to Ryan Higgins at mid-on. Payne had started the day in inspired form and Julie had another. Kieran Bull, the man to go, caught behind for a duck. There was no keeping him out of the action. He had van der Hooks and trapped LBW for his fifth wicket of the innings, a just reward for an impressive performance with the ball. And in the next over, Glamorgan's innings was finished. Marshall de Lang caught behind off the bowling of Shaw, the home side all out for 116. Dan Douthwaite's 30 was Glamorgan's top score and reflected just how difficult it had been to bat and how well the visitors had used the conditions to their advantage. The door was open for Gossershire to take control. They didn't get off to the best start though. Vander Hookton found Chris Dent's edge and the captain had to depart for a duck with the side scoreless. The visitors had got off the mark by the time they reached lunch, the score 14 for 1. But there'd be another setback when play got underway. Ben Charlesworth was the next man to go, out LBW to Graham Wagg playing no shot. Lace and Van Buren put a stop to the early wickets, putting together a decent partnership and taking the visitors well past 50. In the overs before tea though, Glamorgan would make further inroads. Van Buren bowled by Van der Hookton for 32, the visitors 89 for 3 at the interval. They'd lose Hankins to the third ball of the evening session. Wag with another, Selman with the catch. The 100 came up a few overs later, but Wag would find another wicket soon after. Tom Lace caught behind for 42. Dan Dalthwaite repeated the trick. Roderick flashed at a wide one, but could only find Cook's gloves behind him. George Scott took his side past 150, with a one bounce fall down the ground. But he wouldn't get much further. DeLang pitched one short, and the Gloucestershire prospect edged through to Cook for 10. From there, the wickets continued to tumble. Higgins swept ball for four, but couldn't get it right a second time. He found DeLang in the deep, looking to clear the rope. DeLang took the next wicket and edged through to Selman, seeing the back of Josh Shaw. And two balls later, the innings was at an end. Payne only able to drive ball straight back to him. Gloucestershire all out for 181, their lead a handy 65. There would be time for Glamorgan to get their reply up and running. Selman and Hempfrey stuck together through to the close of play, the score 23 for naught. They trailed their visitors by 42 runs heading into the final day, but barring anything other than a barnstorming morning session with either quick wickets or rapid runs, this match should end in a draw. Be that as it may, Gloucestershire will still go all out as they look to haul in Somerset at the top of the central group.